Hello everyone, my name is Malia. I go by Bombshell Mel with four L's on Instagram and Twitter if you want to follow me. Um, this is my first YouTube video. I wanted to make videos for a while, but I never really got around to it, never really found the time. So I finally decided to make one. Uh, this is actually technically my second video because I filmed another one a couple days ago um, that got deleted. This camera has problems and so in between all of that chaos. The video got deleted with a different look that I really liked, um, but I just decided to retry it. It's a fall kind of look. I think it's fall because the colors are like really warm, kind of neutral. This is definitely not a look you want to do every day. This is something you want to do like if you're going out or you know if you just want to be really glammed up. Um, it's Friday, so that's my excuse. Um, so if you want to learn how to achieve this look, don't go anywhere, and I hope you like it. So I've already applied my Urban Decay Naked Foundation in the color 9.0 and I'm just filling in my eyebrows a little bit with the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in the color Ebony. I'm then going to use my Urban Decay Primer Potion and just put that over my eyelids. Next, I'm going to grab my Sephora Studio Blockbuster palette and grab this honey brown color from my crease. You can use any kind of warm brown color that would work well. Then I'm going to grab this Sephora blending brush and just make sure you blend that out really well. Then I'm going to grab this kind of shimmery gold color and put that on the lower end of my crease as kind of a transition color. Then with a flat brush, I'm going to apply my NYX eyeshadow base in the color Pearl, I believe. And I'm just going to apply that all over my lid under the color that I applied for my crease. Then I'm going to take this eyeshadow that my aunt actually brought back for me from India and I'm going to take this warm kind of cranberry red color for my lid and you can use any kind of warm color, warm red cranberry that's similar to this and that would work perfectly fine as well. Then going back into the Blockbuster palette, I'm going to grab this purplish red color on the bottom and just put that over the maroon that I use. Then I'm going to use the color that's right under that that's a tad lighter and a little bit more shimmery and put that right over it. I'm going to go in with the Sephora Primal Instincts palette and grab the color Sable Sand and put that in the corner as a bit of a highlight for my eye. And this was actually an accident, so I'm going to go right over that with the same two colors that I used from the Sephora Blockbuster palette. Back into the Primal Instincts palette, I'm going to grab the color Akaju or Akahu, I'm not sure. Um, anyways, Akaju Mogany in the crease just to warm it up a little bit. Then for a little more definition, with an angled flat brush, I'm going to add the color Must Have from the Primal Instincts palette, which is basically like a matte black.
and blend, blend, blend. Taking my NYX gel liner in jet black and a nice small flat brush, I'm going to just line my eye. Just going to touch that up a bit with my NYX The Curve Liner in Jet Black. I'm using Smoky Extravagant from Makeup Forever as my mascara. To sparkle up the eyelid, I'm going to be using a little bit of Max Tan Pigment. And it's just not sparkly enough, so I'm going to go in with a little bit of Copper Sparkle from MAC as well. Then I'm going to take my Ardell lashes in the number 105. I'm pretty sure these are the Glamour lashes. Then with my NARS concealer stick in the color Ginger, I'm going to highlight under my eyes, the bridge of my nose, a little of my forehead, my chin, and my upper lip. And I'm going to blend that out with a flat foundation brush. Finally, I'm going to blend that all out with a damp beauty blender. Then I'm going to go in with my NARS bronze stick in the color Rapa Nui in the hollows of my cheekbones and blend it out with a stippling brush from Sonia Kashuk. And I'm going to set it all with my Benefit Perfect Light Translucent Loose Powder. Ooh, that's a tongue twister. With an angled small powder brush, I'm going to use Max Symmetry to go over my contour in the hollows of my cheekbones and a little bit on my temples and under my chin. With a flat eyeshadow brush, I'm going to contour my nose a bit with the NARS Irresistible Mint Bronzing Powder. I didn't show it here because it's all shattered. Using MAC Gold Deposit and a large fan brush, I'm going to apply a kind of bronzy highlight. And then also, I'm going to use this highlight from the Blockbuster Sephora palette putting that on the bridge of my nose, above my lip and chin as well. Using MAC Hushabai and a Sephora blush brush, I'm going to apply my blush on my cheeks. Then using NARS Borneo, I'm going to line my lips and I'm going to make them kind of thick because I want my lips to be really defined. Then I'm going to use my Maybelline Wet Look Lipstick in the color Tiny Twinkle. I'm pretty sure these lipsticks are discontinued, but you can use any kind of orange, coppery, red color. Then I'm just going to go over that a little bit with my fave nude MAC Honey Love. 
Back to the Primal Instincts palette, I'm going to use a Kaju Magni again to underline the bottom of my eye. Then I'm going to use Sable Sand in the corners of my eye as a highlight, as well as Orange Gold just in between those two colors to make it a little bit bright. Then I'm going to use my Smoky Extravagant Makeup Forever Mascara for my bottom lashes. And make sure you really get it good because we're not going to be using bottom falsies. Then to underline my eye, I'm going to use my Rimmel London Waterproof Coal Liner in the color Nude. And finally, using Sable Sand as my highlight under my brow bone. All done!